What's the worst mistake you've seen someone do in their job? Plant manager let the safety guy go because they didn't believe safety was a full-time job and wanted to cut back on company spending and decided the supervisors could do all the safety audits, training, keep the building up to code. Not even a week later two guys got their arms cut off working on a machine that they weren't trained certified on and the back building caught fire due to pallets and cardboard boxes being stacked in the wrong area near the furnace. Saw a guy get zapped pretty bad when he stuck a tool in the wrong place on a big dryer at a hotel where I worked. We had asked him if he should cut the power first, and he said nah, don't need to. For a moment after, we thought he was dead. An IT worker once sent an advisory to the entire company about an email several people had received with a malware link. She did so by forwarding the actual email with the link. Newish employee deleted the root directory for the SFTP server. Took the server guys about a day and a half to fully restore it, with all files since the previous night back up lost. Same employee did the exact same thing again a few weeks later. Still had a job when I left, somehow. Had a coworker send a multi-million dollar transfer at the wrong time for X differential? Ended up costing half a million dollars more. He was fired within a week. The worst thing is that he had just graduated college and shouldn't have been in such high position. Higher up executive was his friend and promoted him four times within a year. Ruined his entire career. He works as a salesman last I heard. Printed 500 copies of her gas bill on the company printer. The printer only has enough tray capacity for 250 copies so she had to have reloaded the paper at least once. I had a girl that worked for me that one day had a guy try to pay with a $100 bill. We all knew that we did not take any bill over a $20 but she didn't listen sometimes. This time she took the bill and when she was cashing out her draw the smart safe didn't take the $100 bill. I asked if she checked it and she of course said yes. I looked at the bill and noticed it said movie prop on the bill. She somehow missed it. A girl on the till had a guy come up and buy a $2 pack of gum with a $100 note saying sorry he didn't have anything smaller. She gave him his $98 change and he left. He came back in a few minutes later and said hey I found a $2 coin in my car can I have my $100 back? So she did it. It was a small shop so it was a tough scam to fall for. She also managed to lock herself out of her own car while it was running but parked in a way that no one could get in or out of the car park. Company director sent his travel plans for a work convention to the communal printer in the staff room. Bet him and the other director would have had a lovely time. Five hotel, presidential suite in Barcelona for a week sounded nice. His wife thought so too and was furious she wasn't going also surprised that him and lady director were sharing a room, for a week, and that when she looked into it there was no convention. Things went south pretty fast and now the company is no more. Saw a guy load a bar in a bandsaw in an unsafe way and the bandsaw blade spun the bar and shot it off across the shop like a railgun. I didn't see it in person, but there was a video I saw on Reddit fairly recently where somebody emptied the used deep fryer oil into a plastic bucket. Needless to say, it didn't hold. I was working in a tool and die shop in my early 20s and I was watching an old guy who was perpetually drunk pound in an injector pin into a plastic injection mold with a big piece of steel round stock. Well as he was pounding the pin in, he missed the pin and hit his thumb. It looked like his thumb exploded. He was in such pain he pissed himself. They ended up amputating down to the first knuckle. Then to make matters worse, he got fired for being drunk on the job. A tourism boat bought nearly 1800 worth of groceries and wine for their guests, one of the new hires charged it to the wrong account. There were hundreds of dollars of weight items on the order so it had to be entirely redone and it took all day because it wasn't noticed until the end of the day and the tour boat had already left the docks. He had to fiddle with different items on the scales to match the weights on the invoice. It was awful. In the ER, doctor wrote down an order for 15 mg M of Toradol anti-inflammatory painkiller and the nurse I was training Miss Reed and started to draw up 15 mg of Haldol antipsychotic. That's triple the standard dose for Haldol. This was for a patient with abdominal pain. The nurse I was training didn't question it at all. This wasn't a newly graduated nurse mind, just new to my department. Yes, I stopped her before she gave the med. No, she did not continue to work in the ER. I'm a home appliance installer and was out working a pretty big job at some 20,000 square foot mansion. They had another installation team working on a second kitchen in the basement. One of these guys was drilling the mounting holes for the dishwasher into their granite countertop don't do this, okay? And drill them too small? So when we went to secure it a massive 4 feet chunk of granite split off and smashed into the floor, breaking a couple tiles in the process. 
Dude sounded like Yosemite Sam with his cussing and the customer was pissed. A lady in our sales department sent a racial message bashing foreigners and how cheap they all are to another co-worker using our company tagged the entire company. The CEO is also foreign. Dude gave the signal that he was done working on a forge. Then he put his arm in to check something. His robot arm is pretty cool though. Dumbass failed to clear his 9mm firearm before cleaning it, accidentally shooting himself in the hand. Merely second lieutenant matters. A nurse friend told me a colleague hadn't been checking the pH aspirate from a baby's nasogastric tube meant to do before every tube feed to make sure it's positioned correctly etc. A baby ended up passing away because the tube had actually been passed into the lungs not the stomach due to an unknown cut being made during intubation the baby had previously she had been feeding the milk into the lungs and essentially drowned the baby. Once, I served drinks to a little girl and her mom. I accidentally got them mixed up. The mom ordered a mixed drink with bourbon and the daughter said her drink tasted funny. Told a newbie to clean the steel panels on the deep fryers, expecting them to wipe them down with a cloth. They instead grabbed a jug of water and decided to rinse it, with water going into the still hot oil. Yanked them back so fast I nearly gave them whiplash. And an answer from dad a colleague dismantled a machine to fix it without first checking the pipes were clear. The pipes were full of melted sugar very hot. He got horrific burns that made the skin slough off his hands. I know two people who have made over 40k payment to scammers. They never got the money back. One of my co-workers in a marina was relatively new. He didn't ask if the guy's boat took gas or diesel and he just handed him the diesel hose. I noticed around 250 gallons in that it was a boat I knew took gas. The boat owner was cool about it he paid for the diesel, the fuel pump out, the gas, and even tipped the guy. Could have been a big disaster, though. My first day on my own in my job of identity and access management. We got a ticket to remove access for someone. I was excited and got the whole thing done without someone watching over me. I accidentally removed all the access for the requester. Of course it was near the end of the day. I was scrambling to make phone calls and such to get her access back. A 911 fire EMS dispatcher falling asleep on midnight shift, not seeing the heart attack call on his computer screen for almost 15 minutes. He was awakened by the call taker after receiving a second telephone call asking why no one had arrived. The victim was an inmate at the prison and died before EMS finally arrived. I'm hazmat. When things go wrong, they go really wrong. There was the time we were doing an asbestos removal job in the pump house under one of those 250,000 gallon water tanks you see elevated 50 feet in the air. William broke a pipe fitting before the shut off valve, so no way to shut it off. Asbestos waste washed out the containment through the deacon and out the door. Was everywhere. And that's how William earned the name Quarter Mill Bill. Have more. It's me, I'm the idiot. I was a busser in a busy restaurant when I was 18, and I managed to dump an entire full bust hub onto a little girl. I'm a heavy equipment operator and a couple weeks ago another operator on my job lowered the boom on an excavator at the wrong time and severed half a 22-year-old kid's thumb, I guess there's that. A guy I worked with got fired from his 120k a year job because he was stealing juice from the stock room. I heard there was this guy who had to clean a load of paella pens by tying them down and letting the tide of the sea do the work was a beach restaurant in Spain apparently he forgot to tie them and almost every one of them floated away. Sounds funnier when he tells it though. Young guy on the job once stuck a length of wood through the legs of a ladder so he could cut it down to size. Then proceeds to put the other end of the wood up on his thigh and saws all it right there. I had to stop him before he started doing surgery on himself, speechless face. I work in a hospital. One of my colleagues was removing a deceased patient from a ward. We used these big trolleys with a bright blue cover. He'd had a long day and forgot to actually take the patient to the mortuary on site and ended up putting the trolley back in the cupboard. Next person in that cupboard got a bit of a surprise. So a friend of mine works in telecoms. When he was a young engineer. He accidentally knocked out FM radio in several London boroughs. To be clear, this is quite a feat. There are like, four layers of redundancy before it bumps to MP3 songs, which it did. Only for five minutes or so but, who boy. Spent a summer during college driving a truck for a soda company. One of the guys who also got hired not long after proceeded to run one side of the trailer against the corner of a building and then as he tried to back up, he ran the other side against a telephone pole. He drove back to the base got the key to the safe and took whatever money was in it and left. Have no idea what happened to him but the trailer was destroyed. 
used to be a supervisor for a security company. One of my guards was working a truck gate. They let a truck leave with an empty trailer that was actually loaded. The load on that trailer was valued at almost $1 million. She was damned lucky I was able to figure out how to get in touch with the driver and get that load back.